Brothers Curtis and Marvin were in dead-end jobs, painting and decorating for their father, until their mum received a text message from Ellen Q about the employment support available. When Curtis and Marvin left school, like most lads of their age, they don't know what they want to do. They ended up working with their dad. They didn't have to find a job, they just went straight into working with their dad and that was it. I was working with my dad, painting and decorating. It weren't really me, I couldn't see myself in the future doing that. They were in and out of work with their dad for quite a while. They wouldn't go and sign on because they didn't want to go and do that. So it made it hard for me as a single mum, supporting them both. I just found it really hard. I got behind in a lot of bills and then they started to get unhappy. Me and my dad had a little conversation, he said this ain't really for me, he understood. I told him I wanted to do um, scaffolding. But of course they're like in their 20s now, so they had to start that transition of not ever having an interview and finding a job, what you would normally do when you leave school. I used to get texts from L&Q saying about, do you want to go back to work and um, any courses or apprenticeships and stuff like that and I phoned her up and I asked them um, I said uh, is there any way that you can help me with my sons they brought us in with a cops course they taught us a bit about scaffolding like how to tie a knot and all that stuff and I had a little test at the end they introduced us to breed I met a guy called Nick so I had a brief chat with them just to find out what it is they're interested in doing I called up our scaffolding company Ariel they said OK for a work trial, no obligation, see how it goes and they did a great job and Ariel said yeah, OK, we'll take them on as apprentice scaffolders. I like working outdoors, it's a physical job, that's a bonus as well, it's my cup of tea to be honest. It's a bit more of me, that's what I feel like, that's what I can see myself doing in the long run. In a job centre it's go and look on the computer screens, off you go, go and do it all yourself, quite independent. Job centres would not have sent Curtis and Marvin on a course at their age and they wouldn't be getting what they're getting at their age I don't think because apprenticeships are normally for kids that are coming out of school so it was it was just kind of a blessing for them that they were able to do that so I was just grateful for the help and the support that they got. Well we're looking to go to college learn a bit more and try and get our level one scaffolded as soon as we get that then we're basically I'm going to move to our level two and then when we get our level two we're going to be scaffolded qualified scaffolded.